Hi, I'm John Cooper, and I have the privilege of mixing uh, Bruce Springsteen's Wrecking Ball Tour. This show is full. Um, I've got the entire plug-in rack, all 100 slots loaded, and I'd say about 90 of those slots are with Waves devices. On this tour, vocal's incredibly important. I've run the gauntlet of every microphone on the planet, and I'm using the same microphone I used in 1978, and that's an SM58. It goes through the Avid preamp in the, in the Avid rack, and then um, I process that with the Renaissance uh, EQ6, I think it is, and then we go to the C6 for dynamic uh, equalization and compression, and then overall dynamics management of that channel is done with max volume. Uh, tip of the engineer's hat to my dear friend Pooch for just saying, Cooper, you need to be using max volume, and uh, the next day I was, and uh, from one friend to another, he really uh, pointed me in the right direction with this. Snare top, I have a very ridiculous looking uh, C6 patch set up for it. And then I use max volume on the uh, uh, snare top mic as well, which uh, uh, just again gives me a little more containment of the overall dynamics. Max volume's been a huge asset for me. I use that on the toms. There's some songs where he's playing with brushes. Uh, there's some songs that he actually mutes the head with a towel and things like that. So one song he's playing very softly and the next one it's just thunderous pounding that you have to control as well. I might be able to close it down a couple of dB with, with the gating function and max volume, but that's a very subtle gate that opens and closes very smoothly so you don't hear it. Accordions, well, of course, we use the max volume on the accordions because what stadium rock show would be complete without four accordions? The dynamic range of an accordion is startlingly wide and this is a great device to bring some of the lower register stuff up and contain some of the higher uh, uh, SPL information that just tends to occur when you're trying to localize or locally mic a, uh, a device like an accordion. Of course, our accordion is mic'd with two mics and it's also wireless, so he could be in front of any number of things um, while he's trying to play. So it's a great asset. Um, we move on to percussion, and, and again, one of my best friends has become the max volume there. It allows me to really, I mean, it's tough to get congas and bongos in against three blazing guitars. And uh, uh, my apologies to our percussionist for not making him heard more, but sometimes it's just damn impossible. I know that if I feel that good about it, that it usually translates pretty well to you know, the majority of the audience. The only thing that should come to their mind is, man, th this, is, this is the most amazing piece of music I've ever heard. You know, this is the most powerful performance I've ever experienced. 